was, um, you know, a year ago would have been March. And uh, we, we were sensing that it could be busy because the phones were ringing off the hook with people, you know, owning up to the fact they were going to have to stay home for a while. And, um, you know, if you remember, everybody was really scared. No one knew if you could get this thing just from walking around somebody else breathing or touching something somebody else touched. So um, what happened with us is our industry wasn't given clear guidance. So the lawn and garden industry had um, uh, always fallen in the definition of agriculture and agriculture was exempt and, and was an essential service uh, sure. because of the food aspect. And it took about a month to get that language cleared up. I worked personally on that with the state legislatures so that horticulture was included in the definition of agriculture and we were essential. But in that month period, we, um, we kind of, you know, we were very conservative. We didn't open our stores. In fact, in Hopkinton, we didn't open our store until almost July for people to come inside. But right. we even, felt- Even though some retails did open up, you right. just, just stick with your model because of, of safety reasons. Yeah. Yeah, and the employees didn't know and they were scared, so we wanted to do it for them as well. Um, and then the outside part was even a little sketchy, so we kept people in their cars all the way up until Mother's Day week, which is our busiest week of the yeah. year. Oh, sure. We had people driving and we set up our garden center where we had a, a long tent and all the products that you know should have been of interest, some things that were in flower for plants. People would point and we'd just put them on a cart. They'd go to the register, the outdoor register, and they'd read their credit card number. They'd hit their trunk, boop, and we'd throw it in. And they never got out of their car. So we did that. We could handle about 300 plus drive through trips a day. But, you know, we get up to six and 700 trips a day in May. And we had to open up and let the customers out of their cars and into our outdoor environment in May. And we finally did that. I decided to have a flower garden, whatever. Hey, I want a new hobby. I want to try something different. And now you get all these new people in because, hey, they got the time to do it now. There were uh, 16 or 19, depending on the report you read, million new gardeners last year in this country. <laughs> <laughs> so, and these people, you know, they wanted something to do and they wanted to grow their own food because they didn't want to trust where the food was coming from all of a sudden. There was all sorts of fear. Um, so there's a lot of reasons people got in it. And I think, you know, we're going to go through this again this year. I think it'll free up and people will start to travel again. And then maybe nobody wants to be in their gardens at that point. It's time to get out. But for the for the time being, we're seeing a real early surge here again this year of the phone starting to ring earlier and people asking for things. Again, doing your uh, uh, the, the wholesale yard. Right, you got that running, and that's up to speed. All the contractors seem to be back to work doing stuff. Yeah, so that was that was really sketchy a year ago. Um, corporations didn't have people coming into their office parks, so the landscapers didn't have the normal, you know, plant ten thousand annuals at the at the entrance, and and you know they, you know, didn't pay as much attention to the the regular routine stuff they'd always do, whether it was lawn mowing or whatever, because the tenants weren't in the building. So the landscaping business was off to a real slow start last year. And a lot of landscapers said, we're not even going to start up. And they didn't until mid-May maybe. Um, but that's not the case this year. People are used to this now. Um, homeowners are okay with having landscapers outside of their houses where they weren't a year ago. So yeah, the landscape quote work that we're doing right now for landscape jobs seems to be pretty heavy right now.